Hey, everybody, and thanks for tuning in again. It's Tyler, Eric, and Jeremy, and we've got an awesome recap for you. What's happening in March coming up in April? This week's episode, we're going to be talking about multiple offers and the coming soon status and what that means for you. Let's just get started and talk about what's happened in March and what we're expecting for April. Yeah, I think it's not going to come to surprise to anybody that the market's picking up and we're hitting spring. We know that most everybody's probably heard that buyers are going crazy trying to get into these homes. Um, Do we want to talk about that or are we going to recap first? Yeah, let's do a recap. All right. So recap, um, we're looking at... I looked back at the last month and if we're looking from what happened in February to what happened in March, closings are up. Um, I did take a look at that set. So closings are up and we're, and we're headed in the, we're heading the right direction. Sure. Yep. So year over year we're talking about, and even taking month over month. I mean, it's more busy now than it was in January, February, March, so on and so forth, which we expect the same thing to happen in April, May, June. So we're fully entrenched in the spring market. Right. So I had a little game for you guys that okay. I took a look at the stats. We all know what happened in March last year, and we're looking at what's going on in March this year. Yeah, so COVID-19, in case you guys weren't paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? In case yeah. you didn't what, know what, what happened in 2020. Yeah. All right. So I took a look at, this was, last, this was on Friday that I pulled these stats. How many, we had 57 houses closed to date through Friday of last year. How many do you think we had so far this year? This uh, is in Buffalo. In Buffalo? Yep, we had 57 2020. How many okay. are we at for 2021? 62. Oh, mine was going to be 63. So we're actually at less. We're at 55. Ooh. But also, based on what we had with COVID, how many we, last year in 2020 canceled to date? We had 18. How many do you think we've had canceled so far in 2021 based on the market activity that we've oh, had? Two. I think it's it's going to be more because I think it's new construction cancellations too. Oh. So 25? There's been one. Oh. There's wrong. been one cancellation in Buffalo in 2021 so far. We don't deal with cancellations. We get it sold. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So wow. I just wanted to point out the reason that I bring all that up is to look at the market and the difference from 2020 to 2021 and last year at this time, people were starting to panic and pulling their houses off the market. Right yeah. now, nobody's pulling their houses off yeah, the market. Absolutely. Yeah, which, which is kind of, let's go into a little bit of that multiple offer situation. Yep. Is how much different is it now? We hear a lot of stories of how great the market is right now, but I would beg to differ. It seems a lot different for, in a buyer's perspective Correct. than a seller's perspective right yep. now. Correct. So multiple offers, we're seeing them on, on a lot of different price ranges. And, you know, it's unfortunate for some of our buyers that are, you know, losing out, but they keep keep going and keep going and keep going. Example, uh, this past weekend we had, this is uh, in the Maple Grove area, in the uh, above 500,000, we were competing against 20 other offers. <laughs> Offered cash, no inspection, 10% above list, 50 grand, and didn't get it. Wow. So I think the buyers may be a little bit relieved, but, <laughs> uh, but a little bit bummed out too. But that's the, how competitive that market is, you know, in that price range. Um, so again, it's, it's a little bit daunting for a buyer, but for a seller, they're, they're probably thrilled. They get 20, at least 20 great offers to work with or 21 great offers mm-hmm. to work with and pick their favorite. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So things that we're doing to, to help buyers win that situation is really educating about an inspection. Do you need it? Spend a little bit more time during your showing. Right. Saying, okay. Hey, do we need it? What's important? Ask a seller what their preferred closing date is. Yep. That's a big, that was a big key. We even yep. went down to mid June, like they asked for, yep. um, eliminated the inspection, um, all that high earnest money. It just turns out we we're competing with 21 other offers and Probably not much we can do. We can only sell one house. Right. But uh, how about your guys' uh, feelings about open, uh, recent, op- uh, not multiple open offers, multiple offers? 
You can kind, go kind, I mean, I have less experience, but seeing very, very similar things. So again, from a, the, the buyer's perspective, you know, what we had talked about in an earlier video was make it your best offer right out the get go um, and make it as simple and less complicated as possible so that you stick out. Because again, if you're, if you're the seller and you're sitting down, you're reviewing 21 offers, um, the fastest, easiest way to kind of cut that down to the core five or who has the less contingencies, whose offer did I understand the clearest, um, and who's going to make it the easiest for me to transition out of this house and into my next place? I would agree 100% with one word specifically that you used was simple, um, a simple offer. I've told that to other buyers, um, and I've had sellers that have told me um, we've had um, escalate escalation clauses, and the sellers have actually picked the other offer that – the escalation clause would have been higher then, but they picked the other one because they just said, it's just so simple and clean. Like we don't have to think about it. Mm -hmm. So just you presenting offers that they don't have to think about it. Tell them how much, tell them when you want to close and how you're going to get there. Yep. Delivering, making it simple for the seller. Right. Yep. Absolutely. Well, let's talk about, uh, as a consumer, you're probably seeing these coming soon statuses, which I'm I'm sitting on the sidelines as far as, how I really feel about them uh, in our market. It's something new that was a year ago is it's coming soon. So it's going to show up on MLS. Zero showings can happen. Right. We actually would get fined a thousand dollars if we were to show it during that status. Mm -hmm. So you can be coming soon uh, online up to 21 days before listing. But often we're seeing these things go from coming soon to pending, which is a little bit fishy to me. Right. Are some people taking advantage of it? I don't want to be accusatory, but eh. <laughs> <laughs> so probably. if anybody from NAR or MAR is listening right now, probably look into that. Yep. But yep. Uh, but that's that's one of those things that buyers are seeing, and it's not really clear on a lot of the brokerage websites, including Zillow, Realtor.com, UnitedRealty.com, is if you're not looking for that coming soon status, you think it's an active listing, mm -hmm. and you're a little bit bummed out that, oh, I can't get into it for three days. Right. So, yeah, and it's, it, it can be misleading. I feel like I get requests to go and see homes that are in a coming soon status, mm -hmm. and it is a little bit of a letdown on my end, and I feel a little bit bad for the buyers to say, sorry, we can't actually go show that. Um, so it is a little bit of a letdown, but I would say I think the way to steer the discussion is how can you use this to your advantage as a buyer? Yeah. Um, and what we've talked about and we've had clarified from – um, the Association of Realtors is you can make an offer on a property that's in a coming soon status. You just can't go see it before. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and then the rules are set up so that once, if they choose to accept that offer that's in a coming soon status. Yep. Which is a hundred percent the, the owner's prerogative of whether they want to do that or not. They, they don't, don't have to. Yep. They don't have to do that at all. But if they choose to accept your offer, um, you can go into a different status that actually allows you into the home for an inspection you can see the home at that time and make your decision based on uh, the inspection the results. Inspection, right. right. Yeah, we're not saying, we're not trying to get around the rules. <laughs> I don't know, of, maybe of we that. don't even want to include this part in the video, but yeah. uh, I think it's some it's a conversation to have of something helpful that I think is going on in right. heavier market areas where correct there's a ton more buyers closer to the metro area. Um, again, is if you're making an offer, you you want to be that full faith offer as a buyer and it's, you're only looking for safety issues, hazardous issues, um, things that weren't generally apparent on the advertisement itself. So I did not say make the offer so you can see the property. I'm saying <laughs> make that offer with full intention of buying that home. Yep. Correct. Absolutely. Absolutely. You still have to pay for the inspection as well. So now <laughs> yeah. you're, you're paying money to go and view a property, uh, make it serious. Yep. yep. Absolutely. And, and honestly, get in touch with us. And one, we've got a great team behind us and we'll get you into those properties as soon as they become available. And we're knowledgeable to say, Hey, what best fits your situation? Because there might be that house that you've been looking at forever. And it finally came on the market coming soon. And you've already been in it. Maybe it's a neighbor, maybe it's a friend, whatever. But uh, get in contact with us. There's always going to be the links in this video description. Mm -hmm. But I think that really recaps what March and April is all about, foresight and, you know, that coming soon and multiple offers. Yep, Correct. topics that are 
very relevant to what's going on in the market right now. Absolutely. Well, and traditionally, this time of year, you know, we should we should continue to see, like you guys had said, the coming soon status and those new property listings more frequently uh, as as springtime, summertime rolls around. Absolutely. Yep. For Hoekstra and Reese, Eddie Diana Realty, I'm Tyler. I'm Jeremy. And I'm Eric. See you next week.